How to organize and keep track of multiple low-content books in Scrivener. If you're a writer and you've decided to self-publish, you may be worried about what's involved in listing a book on Amazon. The best way to learn is to try it out a couple of times by uploading low-content books. KDP lets you publish as many books as you want and they don't have to be fancy. Start with something you, your friends, your colleagues or your school will find useful like lined pages, dot grid pages, a diary or a daily planner, blank comic pages for kids or even storyboard pages for film or advertising. Buy or create interior pages. Create a listing. Upload your interior file and a simple cover of your book. Launch the previewer. Make sure your cover goes beyond the bleed guidelines and that any text you've added to the spine fits properly between the spine guides. Check that all elements of each page are properly aligned and fall within the margins. This is a preview window, so the quality will not be 100%. If you're worried about quality, download a PDF proof to see exactly what the book will be like, and you're done. Your book will be processed by Amazon and will usually be live within a couple of days. Check that your cover looks inviting on the sales page and your description formatted correctly. If anything looks wrong, you can go back to your KDP dashboard and fix it. Order an author copy at cost for your own use and to check out the quality. Then, if anyone else likes it and buys it, Amazon handles the printing and shipping and pays you a royalty. If no one buys it, you've invested very little time and the process looks a lot less scary. But if you're already into low content books, you'll know that people do start buying them. And then, if they're the kind of books people use up quickly, they want another one with the same interior but with a different cover. So you create several slightly tweaked covers for the same interior. And then create similar books. And before you know it, you have a lot of books and are having trouble keeping track of them. So what better way to manage your books than in Scrivener where you do all your writing and content management in one place? Hi, this is Kaz from Scrivener Quick Start where I help you organize your projects and get more done faster using Scrivener. And in this training I'm going to focus on managing your low content books in Scrivener. I've created a Scrivener template with my process pre-configured for you and I'll talk you through it, but you could also just watch this video and copy what I do. And watch to the end because I'm going to show you how you'll be able to see the thumbnails of all your book covers in one screen like this for quick reference. You'll find a link to my Scrivener templates page in the description below so that you can download the template we're using today and follow along. And you'll find instructions on the same page to upload to your Scrivener app and add your own spin to it. The first folder I look into when I work on my low content books is this update list which is pending tasks, like asking KDP to add this book into eight more categories, or finding out why the Look Inside feature is not active for this book yet. Anytime you have a problem or query with any of your books, hit Enter to create a new file, add the title of the book you need to troubleshoot, and write up what's needed in your editor. Once the problem is resolved, right-click and move it to the trash. Then, you might like to keep track of admins such as month-end reports and payments. Not everyone knows this, but aside from the two BISAC categories you choose for your book when you upload it, you can email KDP and request a further eight categories. Here's a link to my templates page where you can find a Scrivener template with a list of all categories to choose from. Here are the instructions for how to send an email to KDP and here's an example of the email I send. I usually request that they change all 10 categories because it's hard to find good categories in the tiny category window on the upload form. If you need to know anything surrounding categories, here's a link to KDP's full explanation. 
Scrivener has a special templates folder where you can automatically generate frequently used documents. I've placed a blank request sheet in the folder that you can use as a request roadmap. Select the folder immediately above where you want to write your email. Go to Project, New from Template, and choose KDP Category Request. You're going to write your email here and keep it for future reference, so add your book title or titles to its name. We want to compile the email in one screen while using the example email in another, so split your screen. If you're on Mac, you might have to hold down Option to see the horizontal split. Place your cursor inside the split where you want the example and select it from the binder. Here are the instructions for contacting KDP with your email and then just fill in your request below following this example email. Note that if you're requesting for several books, KDP likes you to put them all in one email rather than sending an email for every book. Hit the split icon to go back to one screen. Next, there's a list of my favorite resources. KDP has their own HTML rules regarding formatting of descriptions, so the easiest way to format your description is to use a dedicated description generator. Here's a link to the best one. You paste your description into the description field. Let's make the heading bold, add bullet points, and tidy up the paragraphs. Hit Generate My Code, which turns it into HTML that is accepted by Amazon. I'll show you where to place it shortly. Here's where I learned everything I know about low-content books. I've added a list of hobbies that would make great low-content subjects to get you started. If you don't have the resources for making your own interiors, here are a couple of places where you can get them. But you can make very good interiors inside canva.com for free. Then here are some rules, advice and helpful links. Go and create yourself an author central page to display your books. KDP have a handy cover creator and I teach cover creation if you want to get more inventive. Here's a handy list of KDP guidelines in case you have hiccups. Each link will take you directly to the subject of your query. Here's all the information you need about internal images and cover images. And then here's some general KDP info pertaining to low content books that you'll find invaluable. Lastly, Keywords are the most important factor for getting your book found on Amazon. Please watch this video by Dave Chesson from Kindlepreneur, who has done extensive testing and explains it best. Then, there's a folder for all your low-content book ideas. I've added a list. Keep the ones that seem worth investigating, delete the rest, and add any ideas of your own. Once you've decided to research a topic, Drag it up into the shortlist folder and start researching whether the idea is viable. This folder is where you store all your own information. These folders are where you record the metadata for all your books and organize them. Most low-content book creators use a pseudonym to avoid other people simply looking them up and piggybacking on any successful ideas they've had. So start off by replacing this folder title with your pseudonym. Then, within that brand, you might have several different series. Here's an example of one of my own. I have a brand called Simple Storyboards with a series of storyboard notebooks and a series of blank comics. All my storyboard notebooks are going to have the same or very similar page size, number of pages, categories and keywords, so I only need one file with this metadata per series. As you'll need this file for each series you create, I've made a template sheet for it. Select the first series in your first pseudonym folder. Give it a name of your own and go to Project, New from Template 
and choose the Pages Categories Keywords template. You don't need to rename this file. If you want, you can split the screen and place my example in the bottom half. Here you need the global metadata for the series, the page size, number of pages you expect to use, and your pseudonym for this series. Research all the possible categories your books could go in and all the possible keywords you might use. Then, for every book in the series, you need the final metadata, which is what you will actually upload to KDP, as well as a place to put your formatted description. There's a template that holds both. Place the example book description and metadata file in the bottom split. Place your cursor in the top split. Select your Series 1 folder and go to Project, New from Template, and choose the Book Title folder. Rename it the name of your book. You might have to add Book 1, Book 2 with a clue as to which of your similar books it is. Open the folder and choose the book description. Fill in the page size etc. for this particular book. Toggle between my example to see what comes next and your pages categories keywords document where you will have entered all your research. Hit the back arrow to go back to the example. You will only get this ISBN number after you've listed your book, so come back and fill it in later. The reason for putting the title and subtitle together in my example is so that you can see what it will look like on your Amazon sales page. Once you understand that, simply delete the instruction on the actual template sheet. And by the way, you can edit any of these sheets or add your own. As long as a document is in this Templates folder, you can access a copy from the New From Templates function. I color my keywords so that I can spot them at a glance. To apply color, select the text, right click on the color well in your format bar and pick a color. You could tweak the description for each of your books that have the same interior, but you don't have to. Fill in the date uploaded after you list your book. Try and identify BISIC categories before you start the upload process because they'll be easier to find. Fill in your BISIC categories based on the categories you researched and entered into your global file for this series. You request these Amazon categories once your book is published on the Amazon website, so come back and fill them in after you've emailed KDP. You get seven keyword fields and the text limit for each field is 50 characters. I like to have them worked out before I fill in the upload forms. In Scrivener you can select text and see how many characters it contains. I copy each line directly from here and paste it into the keywords fields as is in the KDP uploads form. Once you've written your description and edited it, copy it, set your screen back to single view, open your resources folder and the free HTML generator. Paste it in as I showed you earlier. Have it formatted with bold and italic, subheadings and bullet points as you like. Once the generator has converted it to HTML, Copy that, come back to Scrivener and paste it into the description formatted file for this book. Repeat this process for each of your books. If you've written a novel or a non-fiction book in another project, you can record all the same metadata here and drag this folder into your original book project. But leave the actual book inside the original Scrivener template you're writing it in because that template has all the important settings for the type of book it is. Novel, non-fiction, etc. Eventually you'll end up with folders for each of your pseudonyms containing the series written under each pseudonym and all the books within each series and you should have all the current information for every book right at your fingertips. Select the first book in the first series, 
Scrivener will switch to corkboard view mode. We want to attach an index card containing the cover image to each book folder. Take a screenshot of the front cover of each of your books and place them inside a folder on your desktop. Open your inspector window and make sure the synopsis window is set to image. Have your book covers folder open beside your Scrivener project. Drag book 1's cover into the synopsis window. Select book 2. This index card is set to text, so I'll toggle it on to image. Find book 2 in the covers folder and drag it in. And so on until all your book folders have covers on their index cards. Now if you select the series level folder, you'll see all your book covers at a glance with a brief synopsis of the first file in that folder, which is your pages, categories, keywords information. And that's how to get the best out of this Scrivener low content book management template. If you're already a low content book creator, I hope it's shown you how easy it is to keep track of your books in Scrivener. And if you're already a Scrivener user, I hope now that you know a little bit about creating low content books, you're going to create a few of your own and practice uploading them to KDP. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.